Hey, man. We back up in this thing like we never left. Right. Teddy Ray. What's up with it? You riding with me today, goddammit. We gonna hey. drive the shit out of this motherfucker. You hear me? Hey. We don't. We may be all over the road, but we gonna get to our destination safe than the motherfucker. Samo! Yo, yo. Ernest! Yo. Bruh. Can't do shit without y'all. Man. Let me tell you what it's like trying to run the podcast without Simon and, and Ernest. What is it? Driving a car without a steering wheel. Wow. Now that bitch will go, but you're going to hit something <laughs> at some point. You are going to fuck up something at some point. You, you can't, can't just have. You can't turn left. You can't turn right. You can't bust a bitch. You need these niggas. People don't realize behind the scene. They just see us, but they don't right. realize the, inter- the mechanic that go behind it. We need these fellas right here. Teddy Ray, we finna take these people on an adventure. I Let me tell you why. Get caught in the evening, we need too. We can't do shit. Well, she don't want to. She trying to be. Oh, she, she trying that, to be. That witness protection shit hidden. going. She okay. don't want that shit. To you be can't just like go that. around blessing niggas with pieces of chicken and then not expect a shout out. I well, called my mama and told her about you. That's the lovely assistant for the Did You Miss Me podcast. Smile for me daily. Man. Smile for me daily. Is Which that is, right? Smile daily. smile daily. Just smile daily. Uh, no what? underscores in it? You know what? You just threw, you lost them on that. When you, put, when you threw the three in, I was about to plug the shit out of you. Said, but you're going to throw some new, some, uh, we're not going to do that at all. But we ride with you. We sure appreciate it. And if you need an assistant, somebody that can help you get things done, you can give us a call. 323-385-9734. Yep. We'll, we'll get, get somebody, somebody over, over there, there to you. Teddy, you on your shit, boy. Man. Hey, Teddy. That motherfucking Teddy. Hey, man, I feel like Johnny Carson. I feel like Johnny Carson. Bruh, I, I damn near knew the number after our, <laughs> new, after our New Orleans trip. Hey, man. let me t- Hey, listen to me, people. Let me tell you what happened about three, four years ago, five man, years ago. years ten. ago. Ten. It was ten years ago when it happened. Let's just go ten. Years. I was like was about 15. Ten. He was at least 15 years old. <laughs> so we about 15. He's about 15 years old, and I take him with me on a trip to New Orleans because he's 15. Because I'm grown, and I want to see grown things. He's grown. He's 15. It's me, Billy, Teddy. Okay. We're out doing the comedy show, but we got that day early. Now, what you don't want to do is give comedians a day off before the show because they could possibly get drunk or go to jail and fuck up the whole show. Especially in a city where it's 24-hour liquor. 24-7? You mean I could eat a da- get my breakfast and get a daiquiri with it? It ain't just... Y'all done fucked up. But it wasn't just daiquiris. You can do cocaine 24 hours a day <laughs> in New Orleans, Louisiana. You can do anything you want to. Whatever the fuck you want. You can have your Mardi Gras bees on doing cocaine on Canal Street, and you'll survive. But we ain't doing cocaine. We just doing hurricanes. Man. Strong-ass drinks. With what you drinking? Now, what are you on? What are you on? Uh, whatever they get me. I'm not a big liquor head. I smoke more He's than smoking. I drink. He's smoking. He's so. smoking. Whatever you give, whatever you put in my cup and put in my face, I'm gonna sip it and say, mm, "This delicious. What is this? A daiquiri? Mm, strawberry? Mm, I don't know what the fuck I'm drinking." You're just going for it. I'm just going for it, and I'm going to get drunk because I know the drunker you get, the reckless you get with these hoes, the more they, the more they like you. Absolutely, absolutely. That's you know, I see if I come up sober minded, I'm gonna be polite. Mm. I'm going to care about her feelings. I'm mm-hmm. going to learn about her day. When you drunk, you don't go fuck about none of that shit. Okay, Teddy. Now here's the deal. Now what we about to say, what I'm about to say, is very deep, and I don't want nobody to hold it over our heads. Okay. Because we got into a little bit of situation in New Orleans. Okay. Now, keep in mind this is years ago. Years. So. Years. We check into the hotel. I check into my hotel. He checking his room. Billy checking his room. Everybody's doing good. We in New Orleans. First thing we want to do, we want to go downstairs and get some goddamn drinks and put them in a the body. So I can't get in touch with them. Pausing it. Where is it? It fell down somewhere. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. Check, 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 check. I mean, I can't hear it. You can hear it? Just fell. Oh. I think the collar just went in. It's still rolling. Oh, okay. It just flipped back. Oh, okay. Man, it's finna get hotter, too. We ain't never still, we're still good on audio, right? Yeah, we're still good. Okay. So, <clears throat> I can't find them. I don't know where they are. <clears throat> so, I said, fuck it. I can't wait no more. I need a daiquiri. I got to have me a daiquiri. Okay. I go downstairs to get a daiquiri. In the midst of me getting a daiquiri, this female comes up to me. Now, I'm not drunk yet. I'm totally sober. I don't think I even smoked anything. Female comes to me. She was like, hey, what's up? First of all, I see her looking from across the street. I'm looking, I'm like, okay. She's making eye contact with me. I ain't tripping. Trying to, though. Forcing she she was really, she was, you know, when somebody, somebody try to get you to look at them, and when you look, they, be, they, they just have that stare on. She's doing that. So I'm like, okay. So she was like, come here. Come here. Come here. 
I'm like, no, bitch. Come <laughs> here. You come here. You, come you staring to, at me? You staring at me. I caught you staring. Get your ass over here. <laughs> so get over there. And she was like, so what's up? And I was like, nothing. My name Tosh. I'm here for a couple of days. What you about to get into? Oh, you hit her with a fake name? No, this is her telling me. Uh, I'm Tasha. I wish I would I tell her, bitch, I'm Tasha. You Tasha. Tasha I'm Tasha. Out of all the names? <laughs> <Out of> all <laughs> names. <laughs> hey, I'm Tasha, bitch. I'm just like you. So I'm a hoe for the weekend. I'm, just, I'm hoeing. I'm out here hoeing. <laughs> I'm living my best life, a.k.a. hoeing. <laughs> so she says, what are you getting into? I said, well, when my boys hook up, you know, we're gonna get some drinks, probably go back to the room and smoke. We're just gonna make it a New Orleans thing. She was like, I'm with you. Okay. Wait a minute. Are you gay? Whoa. First, let me tell you something. I used to get offended, but then I realized what they're doing. When a female comes up, they be like, wait a minute, you gay. They're trying to trick me into fucking them. They're trying to trick me to show them that I'm not gay by fucking them. And then when I do it, they be like, hmm. Maybe that was just a fluke. No. Right. You just wanted some dick. You should have just came out and said that. that you just wanted so I said, dick. you know what? No, I'm not gay, but I see what your angle is. She said, listen, I'm going to get straight to it. I want you. I said, ma'am, first of all, I'm not that type of man. I can't just lend my body out to people like that. I'm not that. I'm a good guy. Right. But good spirit, good heart. I know some guys that could take care of you. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. I know, some, I, know some, I know some guys that could take care of you. Some you have your phone on you? Yeah. Take down this number. What is it? I'm glad you asked. 323-385-9734. She was like, oh, okay, what did I save it as? I said, getting somebody over there to you. What? <laughs> getting somebody <laughs> over there to you. That's too much. Well, just keep the number in. All right, cool. I said, listen, somebody's going to call you in a couple hours. Just have your phone on you. Somebody going to call you. So I link with the fellas a couple of, couple of hours later. Now we drinking and smoking. I'm like, fellas, I got a treat for y'all tonight. The shit is going to be good. All right, cool. Time is rolling around. It's starting to get dark. Now, at this point, I'm lit. I got my shirt off. and my sh Well, fuck. There goes that goddamn 10-year thing. <laughs> no, no, no. It's still 10 years. Just keep it going. I had my shirt off 10 years ago. You didn't have your shirt off 10 years ago? I'm sure I did. You was battling obesity? <laughs> <laughs> D-Light was a different nigga 10 years ago We was looking identical Amen, Amen. We was looking Amen. identical Teddy said you had it off then 10 years ago You didn't? <laughs> Were you battling obesity nigga? <laughs> I had my shirt off Shit. Well fuck it, it. Our shirts was off It was hot It was it's fucking New Orleans. hot It's New Orleans It's always hot Whenever you go it's hot Right So it's getting a little late Not too late It's getting dark Get a phone call no, I, I called her. I called the female. I said, listen, we're going to be in such and such place. Won't you meet us here? We're going to have a drink. We get to the spot. She said, I don't want nothing to drink. I don't wow. want anything to drink at all. I want sex. I said, pump your brakes, little mama. You're going to get that. But we're just trying to socialize and have a good time. Long story short. We're on vacation. She we just, she ready she to get it in. She ready to get nasty. And I done told that woman I'm not a piece of meat. You can't just use me like that. But her head is hard. So. Mm. The night is still going. We get back to the hotel. We're all hanging together. We're all congregating. We got a few other guys with us and a couple other females. And the female is like pressing. She pressing like, I mean, what's up? Like, I mean, come on now. What, you think I, I'm here for dick. I don't have time for all this other shit. These games and this let's have some drinks. Dick. I said, okay. I said, what's the rush? It's my boyfriend is coming. Your boyfriend? <laughs> Yes, my boyfriend dropped me off to get dick. Like, are you, did he drop you off to get dick? I said, okay, so you're on a time frame. You hold tight. You hold tight. So I gather the troops. I say, hey, listen, it's a three, two, three, three, two, three situation. What do you mean? Somebody got to get over there too. This woman is here. Her boyfriend dropped off. She got a short time frame. Somebody got to service this woman. Now, she got service. I'm not going to say how she got service, but she got service. It was some guys that took care of her. Now, here's the situation she that gets interesting. Too. Somebody got over there to her. One of the guys, Dang. I happened to walk in on him. One of the guys, oh, yeah, that's the people. Let me go ahead and let me hurry and pass it for the people at home get upset that I'm not passing because I know y'all probably talking to the camera now. He don't never pass the motherfucking week. Ma'am, just relax. <laughs> let me get through this goddamn story. He just I'm gonna picked pass it up. How I just got the shit. So, I look over at her. I leave the room. I come back a couple of few minutes later, and one of the fellas is getting, he getting ranched, what we call getting ranched. That's, he's getting head. He getting head. 
and he's so comfortable. This nigga's in one of these poses right here. This nigga's looking like a jump man. This nigga's looking like a, a Michael Jordan jump man getting his meat service. Now, I can't stop him because any man that got his head raised up while he get his dick sucked, he winning. That's clearly what he's telling you. <laughs> if, you got, if, you, if you suck a man dick and his hand is up like this, he's either telling you, bitch, I want the new Jordans or <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm winning. So I said, man, you know what? This is a wild ass trip. This is a very wild trip. Everything wraps up, right? Everything wraps up. Everybody leaves. Now, keep in mind, I ain't did shit. I just been viewing the party. Me and Teddy just pretty much viewing the whole goddamn situation. Man, right? I'm 15. 15 years old. He ain't got no I shit. told my mom I was on church was, retreat. That man was on a goddamn revival, a, 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 a Bible school revival is what he was on. But he got caught up in some other stuff. Anyway, so the chick comes to me afterwards. She was like, so I'm getting ready to leave. I was like, that's what's up. That's what's up. Boyfriend coming to get you? She was like, yes, he coming to get me. So I said, okay, cool. She was like, now who going to pay for this? I'm sorry. Wait, what? What you talking about? Pay for what? That shit you was throwing? That shit that you was throwing? That 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 cold ass head that you saw my giving? That's what you, that jump man head that's listen to me, ma'am. This ain't that type of party. I didn't know that part of the story. Yes, yes. She said, listen, I don't want no problem. I said, okay, I see what the fuck this means. I don't want no problem. I just woman and came in and gave some head and maybe some dudes in touch or whatever. But it's all consensual, but now she's trying to turn the goddamn corner. You can't give head to 50 lab niggas. You can't do it. And then turn around. And then ask for some bread at the end of it. She's, all right, I got a receipt. Receipt for what? <laughs> receipt for head. I mean, y'all can cash app it to me. Cash <laughs> app it to you. <laughs> Man. <laughs> but again, we was just watching. We wasn't pretending. We just, I'm 15. I'm on a church retreat. That's what she said. She said, you can cash app me. I'm like, who, who? Who can cash yappy? You better talk to the nigga that you had in the jump man position. <laughs> you want to talk to this nigga right here? Not me. Nah. But that was a wild ass trip that we had out there. Man. In 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 New Orleans. And I was it was like my I can't feet. smoke with you. Oh shit. Man. That's how it's a second. This nigga get they on really, the story tangent and then put hey, it out. They really finna get mad. He now. spoke like an old woman. I just wanna hit two two, three times. Get my mind elevated, and then I, I can't be at work all day, just high. Hey, man, I'm used to smoking by myself and doing shit on my own by myself, so And my you got apologies. kids, so you got to put the weed out quick and send back to your kids. Like, hold on. Fuck you. Teddy, up. I don't parent like that. My homies do. You know how I parent? <sighs> Sit the fuck down, <laughs> bro. Come on, bro. Come on, man. You fucking up everything now. I'm ch Listen, you supposed to be reading a book. You supposed to be reading a goddamn book. What are you doing? You clearly see what I'm doing. You see what I'm doing. <laughs> you smoking brown cigarettes. I remember my son's asking me, he's like, Dad, what's that? I was like, this is marijuana. <laughs> this is marijuana. <laughs> and it is fucking amazing. <laughs> I told my son it was amazing. You don't even try to get him off. I didn't try to get him. That nigga said, when can I start? <laughs> nigga, my son said, when can I start? I said, nah, First son. First day you get your dick sucked. <laughs> <laughs> Smoke yourself a little reward blunt. That's what you uh, do. He said you smoke a reward blood. I mean, this is the only thing about smoking when you go out of town or out the country. You ain't able to get it like you want to. Man, cause I'm, I'm from Los Angeles, and we got weed stores on every other quarter. Mm -hmm. Like it's the liquor store. Like ever since, I don't know how long it's been like that, past six, seven years? A lot, you can get, before you had to get medical, so you had to go to the doctor, but you can still, as soon as you went to the doctor, nigga, the, that same day, you can go get some weed. Did you ever have a card? Yeah, I did. I did. They went. The first year I did it, I paid too much for it. I went to a real doctor. This nigga started checking <laughs> blood pressure and shit. I was like, this ain't the doctor the homies told me about. <laughs> hey, the nigga started checking blood pressure. <laughs> he was like, are you sure your body can withstand weed? I was like, you know, hurry up and sign your fucking name on that signal. That's I'm paying all need. you. I'm paying you. They now, next year I went to the janky nigga and he just looked at me and was like, okay, you got headaches. Bow. Here. Mm -mm. He didn't ask me shit. This nigga had a, a one chart of a skeleton in his office, <laughs> just one picture. He, no man, no he didn't tell. He didn't have no degrees to tell you what kind of doctor he was. <laughs> this nigga just had on a sleeveless scrub. Mm -mm. He's in there, just like, okay, you, you want the weed? I got you, bro. I got you. Teddy Ray, I got fucked up the first time I went to go get some a weed card. One of my friends, who's a producer, I don't want to say her name. Okay. Yes, I do. 
She fucking cool as fuck. Ricky Hughes. Shout out to Ricky Hughes. Oh, shout out. Fuck that. Ricky Hughes. My girl, Ricky. Shout out to Ricky Hughes. Dope as goddamn pr- producer, creator. Just dope. Does everything. She low-key a gangster on the low. I She's a gangster. Ricky's a goddamn gangster. House. Ricky told me once, she said, D-Lay, keep in mind, I had just moved to L.A. I don't even smoke like that. I'm just like a, like, I'm smoking out of a little pipe. You know why? Because I can't roll. Right. That's how new of a smoke I am. So I'm like... She said, you smoke? I said, I smoke a little bit. She said, you got a card? I was like, a card for what? That's how green I was. She said, this is about eight years ago. Right. She said, you know, you can smoke weed here if a doctor qualifies you. You know, I know the doctor. I can, you know, her husband at the time was a doctor. So she said, just go upstairs, talk to doc, tell him what's going on. He'll get you, you know, your little, rec- your little rec- recommendation. Same day. Same day. <laughs> Keep in mind, brand new to L.A., not even a heavy weed smoker, very green. Walk up in the spot. I'm sweating like Trump at a Black Lives Matter rally. Man. I said, you know what? My bad, Teddy, let me pass this shit to you again before they get mad at home. It's all good, bro. They get mad at home and I don't pass the weed. We smoke plenty of weed. I so I go up to the, to the spot. Doc was like, hey, what's happening, D-Lay? I'm saying, hey, what's happening? He said, hey, man, uh, what you need? Because he don't know why. And he just knew I was in the area because I was talking to his wife. He didn't know I was coming up to get the, the wreck. He said, what you need? I said, well, Ricky told me I can come to you and you give me you know, the recommendation. He said, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. He goes in, pulls out his shit. He said, okay, so um, what's wrong with you? What you mean? Nigga, I, I like the smoke. I said nothing. <laughs> hey, shit wrong with me. I'm good. <laughs> Look, he said, a picture of him. He, 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 keep in mind, he's trying to be professional. Yeah. I do not know what the fuck is going on. <laughs> All I know is Ricky said you can go up there and get the goddamn weed recommendation, and that's what I'm here for. You didn't know he, you had to go with a story. I didn't know I needed a story to come it with this bitch. Be pure bullshit. bullshit, but you need a story. He's trying to help me. He said, Do you have headaches? I said, No, man. I drink, <laughs> I drink too much water for that. <laughs> I drink all the water I need. I don't need no. <laughs> I drink water. I drink. I'm good. He said, Okay, cool. No, nah, I work out all the time. I'm good. You ain't got to worry about no headaches for me. He said, um, Okay, well, shit. Um, Maybe he, now he's trying to help me. He said, Maybe you got flat feet. I said, No, I was in the military. They can't even let you in the military if you got flat feet. So that's not an issue. It's good to not flat feet. Nah, man, my flat is good. I got to lick my flat. I took my shoe off. Look at the arch in this motherfucker. I don't think that arch is normal. Ain't shit flat about my feet. So then he like, Oh, you want Now he's sick of my shit. He said, Hey, man, you got to have some shit wrong with you, man, for me to write something. I said, uh, I don't know. He said, Do you sleep at night? I said, no, I don't, no, I don't. He said, God damn, shit, why you didn't say that at first? <laughs> cool. He write the shit for me. I'm like, cool. Go back downstairs, talk to Ricky. Ricky, thank you, I appreciate it. D-Lay, like, don't go right now. They had a little weed shop down there. Like, Here, take this with you. What is this? These are edibles. This is Reese's Pieces Cups. I'm like, oh, I love Reese's Pieces Cups. D-Lay, like, only eat half. I'm like, now nah, I don't know why they tell me to eat half. If You, you should have put the bitch in the half. If I you got a sugar addiction, half. bitch. I want all this shit. I what love Reese's Pizza. She nine. said, don't eat but half of it. All right, Ricky, you're talking to the wrong motherfucker, okay? Because if you gave it to me, you clearly want me to have it all. So I'm on my, i never forget, it was like 5 o'clock. I was living downtown. I, just, I was still living in downtown LA. I had, I've eaten the whole, the half of it. I ate half of it. But the thing is, edibles take a minute to kick in. Oh, yeah, edibles good. ain't going to just jump in your bloodstream right there. So I was like, that motherfucker was good to say it was weed. I'm going to go and finish it off. I'm going to eat the other half. And it be scrumptious, too. They're scrumptious. They're delicious. Man. I said, I'm going to eat this motherfucker, too. So I eat it. I eat it again on the road. It's about traffic time. I remember it's traffic time. It's five something in L.A. I remember driving, and the traffic was just crawling, and... Edibles just hit your ass. Like edibles just jump right in your goddamn system. I was riding and, I, and it just, it's like somebody just grabbed me and said, hold still, nigga. <laughs> and I, was, I remember being stuck. But you can't, you can't tell the road that you can't in do traffic. Nothing. Let me tell you how high I was. I was riding, doing like three or four miles an hour, right, in traffic. That's too fast. When well, you are edible. That's too fast. Nigga, I stopped in the middle of the street and put that bitch in park. And just looked in the mirror. I looked in the, in the rear view. I was sweating. I was sweating profusely. I said, oh, my gosh. I shouldn't have ate both of them motherfuckers. So I said, let me just pull over and just drink some water. Because that's all I got. I'm going to drink some water and try to shake this shit off. And then I drunk the water. I'm like, this bitch is on me. 
and I'm probably about water to, ain't gonna take it away. Water ain't gonna do it, but make weed mad. <laughs> More to make weed mad. Oh, make, you want extra oxygen? Oh, this in nigga your trying to. Oh, this nigga trying to coat this. He trying to coat this THC. I'm gonna turn this shit up. So I said, you know what? I gotta get from. I gotta get off this highway, right? So I'm driving. Dog, man, traffic started moving again. Not for me, nigga. Still three or four. Three or four miles out. Pulled still in. A rush hour in your mind. I'm nigga, I'm gone. I get home, married at this time. My wife said, What the fuck is wrong with you? I said, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. She said, What did you did you take something? I said, I ate an edible. What'd you eat? I ate a Reese's Pieces cup. How many? How many come in a pack, bitch? <laughs> it's two, right? Eight to two, right? Dog, I have never in my life, I've never in my life experienced it. She said, you hungry? I said, I'm fucking starving. Give me something to eat. I wasn't, I was still eating meat at this time. She made a gumbo. Put the gumbo in front of me. I'll never forget, I'm sitting there. I'm high as fuck off these edibles. I'm looking at that gumbo. I want to eat this motherfucker. I just can't. I ain't got no energy to eat this. I'm just looking. And it looked like the bowl a mile away. Man, that bitch was so far away. <laughs> I'm sitting you know, there. I can't even lift my arm. Oh, right let me tell you what. I woke up at like nine that next morning, head down right by that goddamn gumbo. Fresh for breakfast, nigga. That gumbo came right in goddamn handy as I ate it for breakfast. I said, I'm fucking, I'm done with goddamn edibles. I ain't had an edible since. I'm cool. I'll take the flour. I'm a flour guy. That's it. That's the end of that story. I ain't shit. Man, it. I was like, That's okay. All. Was it was the gumbo good? That's it. it was the gumbo? It was just you woke up the weak ass gumbo. Hey, I saw I saw you waiting on some more. That's all. That's all they got on there. <laughs> That's all they got on it, y'all. Hey, just no. high on gumbo. High off of edibles. I already know how the edibles kick in, because I didn't I didn't myself have partaked in the edibles that I did not believe in. You know? I just I see it mm -hmm. in your mind. That's just a punk that's just a piece of punk ass candy. Hey man. I'm a grown ass nigga. No, that's potent. That's All these pounds, right? And then I'm like, man, get half. I need to eat half. Not me. I'm a real nigga. I'm a full nigga. I'm gonna eat a full bar. Uh uh. It's gonna take you down. I took one before I got on the train one time. Missed my stop about ten times. You was in New York? No, I was out here in L. A. We ain't got but three. Train. We got a train out here. We got a few. Yeah. Shit, I'm behind. You not? You just got money and don't need to be on the train. <laughs> You stuck in traffic, high off edibles, causing accidents. You just made me think about something. I was talking about taking weed overseas. That's tricky. Well, not overseas. Mexico. Oh, no, that's nothing. I went to Mexico recently. Puerto Vallarta. I went to Mexico and almost got into a fight. Delay almost got into a fucking fight. In Mexico? With a little Mexican man. You couldn't speak Spanish? It was more disrespect, Teddy. The boy didn't respect me. They met, I don't, They got different cultures, you feel me? What respect is to you, they don't know. And then y'all got, y'all still got the same kind of respect, but because of the language barrier, y'all don't come to an understanding. Teddy, he didn't respect me, Teddy. Okay, tell me this. He, he talked to your lady, he tried to. Teddy, let me, I'm glad you asked what he did. I'm going to tell you what the fuck he did, Teddy. First of all, y'all know I come in peace. I ain't coming, I ain't starting no shit. I come in peace. So, a lot of times drunk Mexican men be handsy with the women. They do. They can get a little flirty with like, their hey, shit. come here. And then, like, making weird little noises while they peeing on themselves. Mm -mm. And that shit ain't cool. Say what happened. What? I don't know. I'm talking about L.A. I don't know what that was. Curbside Mexicans. I don't know what you was down there at the factory. And these are these are homegrown Mexicans. Right. They, are, they they live there. They ain't been nowhere else. This is where they from. About depressed Mexicans that mm. cry about their son that's back in Mexico that they can't see. Oh, them type of Mexicans. Oh, okay. Oh, Junior is Junior. Junior. No, J, ain't no J in that bit. Junior is Junior. Junior. My man, my boy, forty years old. I'm like, no, nah, he's twenty eight now. He twenty eight. He boy grown. Junior grown now. Right. You still crying over this little boy. So tell them on vacation, man. I'm out there having a good time, living my life like it's golden. As you should. Feeling good. Like Jill Scott. As soon as I landed, they knew we was from America. I had a little female friend with me. We were rolling, feeling good. As soon as we land, these Mexicans was like they knew we were Mexican. They, they knew we were American. So you know, you know how people try to make you feel at home. You know, know you from there. They try to just quote some shit that you know. 
Ah, oh. Usher Raymond. Hey. She, she's, this lady says, she sees us. It's this lady. You know how the, all the cab people, all the transportation people be up front yeah. trying to get you a ride to your hotel, right? So they, you know, they got. Hey. Right, they all got the best route, the quickest route. Like grab him by the pussy. I'm like, no, no, <laughs> nah, you can't say grab him by the pussy. I see, where you're going. I see where you're going with this, but no, ma'am, we're just trying to get a ride to the hotel. You get to the hotel, nice ass resort. Shit is dope. They got horseback ride, and they got this fucking um, boat ride you can take, and they got this hang gliding experience you can go through. Damn. It's a nice little hang gliding thing. So I was like, I like dangerous shit. I'm going to fuck with that hang gliding. It wasn't hang gliding, it was. Um, was it parasailing? parasailing? I think it was parasailing. I think it was par- it was parasailing with the, with the straight with the wing with the straight like no wing. this was with the with the little the little parachute. Maybe it's I don't know if it's parasailing. I don't think it's parasailing. Is anyway, it I'm flying? in the sky. Okay. I'm in the goddamn sky. Flying. It's it's one of them things where they, you know the the boat is attached to the thing and you're in the sky and they got the, oh yeah parasailing it's parasailing yeah. okay parasailing. So I'm like I want to try that parasailing. I'm like I gotta try this shit. He was like, all right, cool. So when you get on and you they sign, they just be trying to sign you up, you know, because they got a list of people. Mm-hmm. They don't be talking no prices or nothing. They just be trying to get you on there. But I'm like, I ain't tripping. We're in Mexico, whatever. They, I can afford this shit in. We good. 30 pesos? How much is it? I'm good, nigga. I got 30, 30, 30, 30, 30 times pesos. Yeah. I got all the goddamn pesos. I'm a millionaire out here. So I said, fuck it. Let me try it. I get on the shit. Man, I'm in that bitch. I was actually doing videos. I'm talking shit. Man, I'm like, this is dope, man. This shit is cool. You up there probably about 15, 20 minutes. Floating. Get ready to come down. It's a nice little, you know, it's, it's, I like dangerous shit. Right. Kind of parasailing, you coming down. Bam, you land, they catch you. Like, cool. So everything's good, man. I'm excited. My man was like, hey, man, keep in mind, I've been drinking all day. I start parasailing probably about 6 that evening. I've been literally drinking since I landed. Started like in the airport. They give us shots in the airport. Right. So I'm nice. I ain't lit, but I'm nice. You feeling yourself? I'm really feeling myself. You global now? You got I'm global, nigga. Man, I'm pepped up. And I'm in the sky? When you think about where you know where the niggas at in your life, and you know they on that ain't same porch. Ain't none of them porch. in the sky. They own the porch. They, ain't they in the on sky. that same porch. I left y'all at, nigga, and I'm in the sky. Don't want to be in the sky, but I'm in the goddamn spot. sky. And now I've landed. My <laughs> man was like, hey, my friend, so you you can pay. And I was like, oh, shit. I don't have my wallet with me. It's right here upstairs. He says, okay, you're going to get out of the way for you. Okay, cool. I go upstairs. Keep in mind, there's, li- there's more liquor in the room. So I get up there. I take another shot. And I take that shot. I'm not even thinking about this little Mexican dude or that payment. I'm going to pay him when I get down there. Right, be- when I feel I- like it. I actually going to pay you when I feel like it. Tomorrow, probably about three. I'm, I'm gonna be here three more days, dog. Don't fuck with me. <laughs> I'm in here. So, I did remember. I went back down there. Now, at this time, it's pitch black, dark. These people, are, they have like a little outside. You know how little guys have a little outside service. They come on and try to make a little deal with the resort where they can kind of hustle and make right. their money on the side. If they're not a part of the resort, they're just hustling on the side. Right. I'll go back out there. He's gone. So, I had the money to pay him. He was gone. So, I was like, I fuck it. Well, I'll give it to him tomorrow. I'm sure he'll be out here. That's what they do. Next day, I wake up doing what? The same shit I was doing yesterday. Drinking my ass off. Early. Early. So it's about noon. I go outside. My man says, my friend, you no pay. Like really aggressive. I forgot all about this dude, man. I've missed so many shots. I'm smoking weed. I forgot all about this dude. Take I forgot. I'm okay, not a stripper's asses. I'm doing all. Wait, what? Go ahead, roll with that. Roll with that. We roll with it. We roll with it. Oh, no. I, I just that. seen it in a movie. You see, it just seemed like something I'd be doing, I would be doing on a vacation. Right. I don't know, though. It, it, it do seem like, I do seem like the type of dude that be pulling cocaine out of a stripper's ass on I vacation. I don't ever see D-Lay with no cocaine, but this nigga look like he just took a line. It always, it <laughs> always. <laughs> it's so easy. Like, D-Lay, word, you just been on blunt. He said, I always look like I just did a line. <laughs> this nigga D-Lay smoked nothing but backwoods. <laughs> nothing but backwoods. And he can say, I always look like I just did a line. <laughs> I'll be like, damn, d I don't know how you get your energy up. Just hey. up. Yeah, no cocaine. No, never did cocaine, as a matter of fact. Never. So, my man is like, my friend, you don't pay. And I was like, oh, shit. My bad, man. Keep Now, I'm nice at this point. I'm really licking up. It's midday. Okay. I'm feeling good. I'm on vacation. Right. I'm not even going... 
pay attention to your aggression, big dog. I'ma just go upstairs. You tapped his shoulder you, like that? I did like that. I said, hey, my man. I'ma I almost just, just looked at you. This, this, this is what he did to my me. My friend. Touch my shoulder. Let me tell you what he did. Touch my shoulder. This is what he did to me. No, you're not paying. <laughs> I said, oh. Okay, my, my bad, bro. I said, I came down here. Yes. Now, I'm being diplomatic. I said, I came down last night. And I did. But I knew he was gone. But I did. I still went down. Right. I said, but you were gone. No, you're not paying. You go, you're paying. I said, I go? You want me, you telling me to go? I said, now listen, I'm going to What are you money. trying to say, sir? He's like, he's mad because he feel like, nigga, I was looking for you yesterday. I needed something. I had to do something with that goddamn money. <laughs> and you I fucked over me, nigga. I got nine goddamn kids. I needed that money. So I said, my man, how much I owe you? No, you're going to pay. He mad. Now he mad. And he don't have that much English. He know go pay. He know that. Go pay. I'm trying to pay you. What the fuck? So I said, hey man, I'm going to go get your money. But just relax. And when I touched him again, this time, he knocked my shit off. Man. He knocked my hand off. No. You don't pay. I said, you done fucked up. <laughs> he don't know what you're saying, D-Lane. I don't give a fuck if he don't know. I know <laughs> what I'm saying. That's all that matter right now. <laughs> I said, you done fucked up. Now you're not getting shit. I'm not paying you a motherfucking thing. And you ain't going to do shit about it. He said, oh, oh, yo, wait, wait, wait. So he goes, like, oh, they got a little tent set up. And, and he goes in and says something. To, so, like, three or four of his homeboys come out. So now security's around because it's getting loud and people are coming around. Now it's just me and the female I'm with. So I said, oh, it's all y'all. Now, let me tell you something about liquor. Liquor it's got all, a motherfucking, <laughs> got, got an ingredient in it that make you feel like, man, it's whatever. All y'all niggas ain't shit. I see Why them not? come back. And all of them are shorter than me, too. I ain't even that tall. And they all shorter than me. So the I really think I can tell a group up. of niggas to run I'm up. like, I've never fought four dudes, but I've seen it in a movie. Right. But I'm like, I'm about to fight four dudes. But I'm up for it. I ain't like, I'm worried. Like, I'm, I'm, I want to fight them. I'm, I'm encouraging. I'm like, yeah. So. Slapping your chest. Come on. Security. Security comes. And they're like, they're kind of like holding it, right? Like holding it. Like holding him. Right? So he's like, oh, let me go. Let me go. So I was like. I hate that. I don't like that during the fight when somebody holding me. Let me go. I said, man. Man, I socked the nigga that's holding me. You hit the now nigga that's holding me? Now you in the fight. Now you in the fight because you, you still fighting. You, in my, you meddling in my business. Let me get mine off. Get your ass out of here. You can fight this over here today. Uh, so I said, I said, no, man. Let him go. Let him go. I'm probably, I'm probably about six shots in. And I want to fight. I actually want to fight. So... I'm like, man, he ain't talking about shit. So as I as I do this right here, like I'm I'm like I'm bending away, out of the corner of my eye, I see now keep in mind, he's on sand. He's in the sand. We I'm in swim trunks, no shirt, flip-flops. I'm in vacation clothes. He's on sand, he's got this hat on, like this, this big, like this book, this big hat. So as I'm like, man, he ain't talking about shit. I see him break loose and he's running towards me. But then, like, my reaction was a little slow. I was like, wait a minute. This nigga got loose. <laughs> so I turned back. When I turned back, now security is coming. They're grabbing me. So I'm like, motherfucker, he coming. <laughs> this nigga coming. Now they helping him. Now I'm like, you niggas helping him, right? So now one of the securities grab him. They grab me. So I push him out of the way. Now me and my man, I got my man right on one-on-one. -on -one. This little shit. You, and we've been talking shit for a minute. He been talking shit. I don't know what he going to do with his shit. But I know what I'm going to do with my shit. Right. So I said, okay, now it's just me and you now. So he is now backing up. He's, he's, he's doing this right. He's backing up. But I'm like, no, no, no. And I can't get to him. I just want to get close and close enough range to get to him. So I can't get to him. So I raise up. I, nigga, I kicked the shit out of this Mexican man. <laughs> bah! I kicked him like, like shoulder, like shoulder neck. He was like, ugh. So now all the everything's scattered. Everybody's grabbing over there, and ain't nobody fuck with me now. Ain't nobody fuck. They like, hey, leave the American alone. Let's get these Mexicans out of here. You look like you do karate. This nigga do something. He do something. You fit. So you at this vacation? point, you not, can afford a vacation. Man, the fuck? So security. You gotta work for the CIA. <laughs> he can you afford a vacation. Dog, no, I'm hot. I'm hot. Security come over there. They like, no, 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 no. Calm down, calm down. Calm down. What happened? What happened? I ain't trying to explain what happened. 
I'm ready to fight. No explanation. They get me up to my room. It's like, don't worry, just relax, calm down. You the money, man. Mm -mm. Right. Hey, hey, fuck up the money. You can't be having the tourists getting pissed off. Mm -mm. They don't know who you with. You could be uh, doing Yelp reviews for Black Planet. Not I could be a reboot. secret shopper. That's, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like you could be on a mission, like writing Dog, reviews on that shit. I go upstairs. So I was like, Let me calm down. Give me a couple of more shots. Smoke a little weed. Chill. I got one more day on this resort. I ain't trying to go to jail. Right. At all. Not in Mexico. Next day, I chill because I, I got a hangover. I don't go outside at all. Following day is my flight. I got to get the fuck out of there. Come back to the States. Me, female I'm with, in the room. Eight in the morning. My flight is like noon. Beating on the door. Boom, 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 boom. Go check that shit. I ain't going. She go check it. She was like, it's the police. The police. Policia. I'm like, how many? She looked back to Five. 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 Fuck. I go outside on the balcony. I go outside on the balcony. You know how they have the balcony, the curtains, right? So the curtains are open. I'm on the balcony. But I'm in the corner on the balcony. <laughs> Police come in. Right? I hear him. Ma'am, is your husband in here? He was like, no. He left to catch a flight already. She was like, can, he, can, we, can we search the room? She was like, yeah. They come through there. They in the bathroom. They all through this bitch. They under the bed. They're like, well, I hear him. Well, uh, he... Had an altercation with one of the outside workers, and he's going to jail. I, I'm like, oh my gosh, nigga, please don't come outside on this motherfucking balcony. He's not here. What time was his flight? His flight was at six this morning. Okay, they looking at. Listen, the reason why they didn't check the balcony because the the curtains were still wide open. So he was like, we can see right there. Ain't nobody out there. You ain't even thinking to check on the balcony. She just let you come in to check. Nigga, they leave. I said, now nah, I got to get off this fucking resort. I got to get off the resort. But they won't let me leave until I pay. They won't let me leave. It. So she has to pay. What, what you mean, won't let you leave? You got to pay. They got to pay for the parasailing shit. Fun ain't free, my nigga. That's what the people with they, the parasailing, the little Mexican dudes, went, they went to the... Yeah, you got to get off the resort. Okay. They got to they call you a cab and you and get you got to get off that resort. So I'm like, I got to get off this motherfucking resort. How do I get off this bitch? So, I can't get in that cab. Got I've got to I don't think they had an Uber. They had regular cabs. Okay. The only way to get off, you got to go past this little security point. I said, "Oh my gosh, I don't know how I'm gonna fucking do this shit." I got to get out of this motherfucker. I go down. I put these big ass, like, these shades. She had these shades and a woman hat. Like, they couldn't see this shit. Put that bitch on. Hold on, you got on a big floppy. I got, I, you know the little women, you know the little. Man. <laughs> nigga. This nigga done turned into I look, a I look like a suspect. I look so suspicious. This motherfucker had a scarf and shades. Nigga. I am in that bitch because I got to get off, bro. I got to go. How you got somebody else getaway costume on? Nigga, that's all I had. She got the I, I just put that. So I go in there. We you already called. We already Because you called downstairs. for the Call downstairs, dog. I went down there. And luckily, I just went down there. And put, <laughs> I gave my name. Gus coming down. Good cab for Gus. Yeah, Gus. I get in there, man. And I'm sitting in there. I'm just like, man, let's just get past this checkpoint. Get to the checkpoint. Like, who do we have here? Uh, we have Gus. I'm like, yeah, Gus. I'm like, nigga, please don't ask me for no identification. Please don't ask me for no identification. You have your ID? Yes, I do, sir. But it's in, uh, it's in my luggage. And I got to get... Uh, were you staying here? How many days were you staying here? I stayed here three days. Okay. Were you by yourself? No, one person. 
What's your room number? Gave him the room number. Okay, cool. Come through. Nigga. Did you give him your room number or the next door? No, I gave him the real room number. Because okay. they're going to check the room number. They're going to check to see if that room number, if, if, you, if you don't have a room number, they'll be like, oh, this nigga full of shit. Hold on, right. get your ass out the car, whatever. Nigga, I got off this motherfucker. I got off. As soon as I got off to the, to the airport, my phone started ringing. Because I still, my phone, they had my number. I said, either it's two people. It will be the chick I'm with, but she probably call from my other, or maybe something happened. She's calling me. So do I answer this bitch or not? Oh, you left her there. Goddamn right, I left her there. <laughs> the way he looked at you, was like, you goddamn right. Goddamn right. Oh, you goddamn right, I left her there. <laughs> Supposed to just I stay there and get caught up? No, no, no. I got to go you first. Course with the fans, bitch. You meet me there, and if you can make this flight, we're supposed to be together. <laughs> wow. Challenge this relationship. If you don't you make this flight up. and you get caught up, this shit was not meant to be. So I say, listen, I'm gonna see you on the other side. I'm gonna see you on the other side. It's a beautiful ass centric story. So check it, right? So I said, goddamn, I'm getting in the airport and we're getting ready to board. We're getting ready to board. So I said to myself, she ain't gonna make it. She is not going to make it. Ain't no way she's going to make it. You know, them, when, they, when them international flights, when they close them doors, that I bitch said, is closed. Yeah. So I said, oh, my gosh. Let me just wait. I don't want to look like I was already on the plane. Like, bitch, I made it. Let me just kind of wait by the gate. Right. Seems like at least I'm trying to wait for you. Right. So she says, sir, we have to start boarding right now. I look down the escalator. I see the chick coming, right? She comes. She said, listen. She said, sorry, you know, thank you for, you know, for waiting. And we need to figure out, you know, our seating arrangements because sit, the shit still ain't right. She said, um, can, you, can you make sure that everything is good? She said, yeah, everything is good. So we get on the plane. Our seats, we still don't have our seats. We don't have our seats. At all? At all. Y'all standing up? We're standing up for a second. They're trying to get everything situated. They, they had a discrepancy with the seats. So finally, the stewardess come on. The stewardess come on. And I'm looking at her, I'm like, she looks familiar. It's the same stewardess that checked us in at the hotel. That stewardess looked me dead in my eye. And she said, did, did you miss me? me? God damn. damn it, we took you around the world. Man. But we brought your ass back, man. What a hey, fine man, bitch. We did that goddamn thing. What a fine <laughs> bitch. T Teddy was like, I'm on this bitch. <laughs> I nailed it. I said it with you. Man, these niggas sent me emails today. It was like, hey, <laughs> nigga, you doing Did You Miss Me? <laughs> when you feel it coming, nigga, just hit that up. <laughs> Don't hesitate, nigga. Just, did you miss me? He and said, I, when you feel it coming, just hit that hoe. Man, like Chris Brown, just hit. No, I'm, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> that was a bad one. Mm -hmm. That was a bad one. Okay. Hey, man, thank y'all for watching the Did You Miss Me podcast, man. We for really sure. appreciate y'all, man. Everybody here. From me to Billy to Side Mode to Ernest, man. Thank y'all for watching. We got plenty of stuff that's cooking for y'all, man. We want to let y'all know where to find more things about Did You Miss Me podcast. Hey, man, click the subscribe button up top, man. Make sure you follow us on all social media. We on Instagram. Hit us up. D-Y-M-M. -M. Yeah. Hit us there. Podcast. That's it. Yeah. We in there. You got to follow us. Make sure you like us on Facebook. Subscribe. Like. Share. Comment. Man, let us know what your favorite stories are. Damn. We here. And now, don't and don't forget to give number. us a call. Get the number, man. Don't you ever forget it. 323-385-9734. Three, 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 we'll get somebody, somebody over there to you.